students. Um, you know, we have a, a, uh, we have a, a lot of the uh, scheduling where we can we can have our students on campus as a team here. Xavier was able to play so that we didn't play as well. And uh, just for us to, to get this win today, um, over a really, as you can see, a really good team with a lot of weapons. But our defense was, except, except for that, that few minutes where we, were, we just really got exposed by not giving enough help inside of uh, Tremble off the ball screen. He was picking us apart and we tightened that up and got the stops that we needed. So uh, a lot of key, key players in the game. Uh, one that you look at shooting stats, they weren't good. Uh, he had a couple of tough turnovers. But I was really, I, I had Derek Walton sing the song at the end because it asked him in the timeout, I want you to go out there and shoot the ball. The first one missed, but his next two, we were very stagnant at that time, and he made two shots we needed to make. So, but everybody contributed, and uh, really uh, happy for our team, for the, like I said, our students, who I really want them to have this great experience of going to see a good basketball team, and for a lot of reasons, uh, we haven't been as good the last uh, two years, and uh, we want to be a good team again because it's exciting. Chris, why don't you start us off? Talk about Zach's overall game and uh, just kind of the way he carries you at times. Yeah, you know, he's got, I think our assistant's called Big Shot, right, because that was sort of his reputation in high school and in AAU ball and things like that. And it, we drew up a, a play for it, for him just to, to read. He pulled up and hit that three. That was a big play for us. So he, he's doing some things. He's driving the ball to the basket. He's driving under control. Um, that was a good night for him. A really good night for him, and, and uh, if we can uh, just get him with the consistency that I think that we, we he, he expects of himself, it really help us. Stay here with Noah. Um, one of the big plays I guess Derek made was calling the timeout with a few seconds to go when Donald got yeah. the rebound and was trapped. I mean, how anxious is that for you? I guess you're not allowed to call it from yeah, the bench yeah. now, so no, he's kind of trapped. That, in that was big to do. And Mark's rebound was really big to get, right? And his foul <coughs> shot uh, was big to get. But yeah, that's. That these things are with Derek. Uh, he has this in him. He has more in him. And, and you know, you think some of the guys he's been playing with um, are would have been so such excellent players. He didn't have to take that role. And even with Karras this year, he, we were not putting him in that role. And um, he and I have been talking about this this last couple of weeks. How he's got to assume that role. And that was a good example of it. Brendan, on Zach, uh, I guess. On the defensive side, you know, his, his willingness to, uh, at one point he was on stone, he's given up six inches and 40 yeah. pounds. Um, you know, not quite envision him no. doing that when he, when he got here. The willingness to be able to yeah. do that and, you know, embrace all the different things on offense. Just, just how yeah. much it's kind of... No, he, he, he has uh, really been, and, and he's, had, he's had his moments where he was, as he, as he has grown as a young man, and he's grown as a player. But right now he just wants to win. And so we put them on some pretty tough matchups, much like we had to do with Glenn Robinson. But the good news is that they got a guard here too. And so he's been able to really make big plays for us. So, but th there hasn't been any of this, you know, I, I, I can't, I'm not, like the Zach, the Zach Novaks and the Glenn Robinsons and, and now Zach, they've been forced to by injury, by, for whatever reason, uh, too many good players. And we're, we're not gonna sit Glenn, Nick, or Kirks. We play them all. Well, how do we play? Well, some, one of you's got to guard the other guy. Glenn, go do it. Now Zach's got to do that same thing. He's really done well. Stay on that side in the back with Nick. John, uh, Derek and Zach are juniors now. How notable was it to you that, you know, the last two minutes of the game, those were the guys that won the game for you. Karras wasn't out there. It was just those two guys in a big moment. And they, it seems like maybe yeah, that's yeah. the first time they did it together. Kind of uh, I, yeah, now that you say that, uh, that's true. Uh, I believe that's true. That, this is that next step for them. And it's been forced on probably too early last year when they were sophomores. I mean, they, and they played, you know, Derek played more of a role, but cameo roles, real roles in freshman year on a great on a championship team. And now all of a sudden they, they didn't really have to do that, but Zach started to like that last year a little bit. But we didn't win enough games. Now they won the games. Right? It's the feeling right now that we come in here and Tim Hardaway or Trey Burke or Nick Stouts Karis Lambert just make a big play to win the game, and, and so they, I, that's why I was encouraging Derek. Derek, you got to shoot the ball, and it's with me too. I have to dial him up more. I have to create more things for him so that he's more assertive. Down the front with left. Coach, to, to hold a guy like Melo Tremble to uh, one field goal and three assists, what does that say about the defensive? Yeah, 
did, I mean, Derek did a great job, and you know, he because we we, uh, we gave him a pretty hard edge. And they're one of the top ball screen and they've been numbers and success in the league. So, you know, we, we decided to just go with our regular action, put two guys on them on the ball screen and see if they could beat us with twos. And then they were really beating us with twos. And uh, when, it, 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 when they were beating them, we just we were giving way too much attention to the outside. We we had to fake make triple not see that and see it outside but the big thing was uh, we didn't want him to get any clean looks and I'm sure glad he wasn't looking at that last shot but he did a good job of keeping him from getting the ball and taking that last one. I didn't want another Wisconsin game. You're right with Greg. Coach uh, so this being your first really big resume win in the season how much talk is there a big picture with the team on the season big and standing yeah, you know, the, the, the most of the focus is just to get to the top of the Big Ten, win a Big Ten championship. We're three and one. We don't know what we'll go going forward, but we're three and one in the Big Ten. So, uh, and we'll try to protect our home court. That should take care of enough. At the same time, I've told them on a couple of occasions, you know, that there's a there's a uh, there's Big Ten championships that we want to win, but there's also a thing called Selection Sunday, and we don't want to be missing on Selection Sunday. And you have to. You have to have top 50 wins, and you have to have a few of them, and that's that's my belief. And uh, we got to continue to do that. And this one helps a lot. Stay over here in the middle with Sam. Coach, what was the overall defensive strategy when they have so much size on you and you're doubling down, but then Mel Trimble scores two points on you? Can you talk a little bit about what the game plan was going in? You know, we had three different double down packages uh, that I won't disclose, but there were three packages, but. Um, then we thought we, we were giving up too many. They, we, we sometimes we double on the wrong guy. Uh, that's confusing when your your back is to the guy and they throw it and you go get him and it's not the guy you're supposed to get because you can't see his number or you're not sure where he is. And it was costing us a little bit, so we decided to go away from that. Uh, we've done it successfully on some other cases. We weren't so we were awful uh, in the Purdue game. You know there were several times Mark was telling, leading them to the double team and there was no double team. So we, we tried to mix it up so they wouldn't be real comfortable. But we didn't want to leave Trimble as, as little as we could.